we start in the eighth grade, book 12. So we used to start in seventh, but when we had girls, but when we um, had school career, we had to get rid of something. So they got rid of the first form, which was the seventh grade. Oh. And they room for the females that now populate by half of the student body. Yeah, good. I'm Judith Jaffe. And I'm at the Groton School. I have this exhibit that's going on now. We're in um, 2015. This is October. And I hope that one day my grandchildren or my great-grandchildren or my, even my great-great-grandchildren might see this and be a little acquainted with, with me, their, an, their ancestor. This is a, a painting I did in, um, oh, it was 1980. Uh, it was originally a, a bit more expressionistic, but I went over it when I learned the um, technique of oil and egg tempera. So I tightened it up a bit and made it more um, uh, luminescent. I call this painting Family Outing. And I sort of I find myself using um, the female form a great deal. I like a good heavy form. I see it as both um, symbolic of strength and vulnerability at the same time. And sometimes I think it's Mother Nature um, as well as Mama. The babies in my, in my paintings uh, symbolize the beginning. There's always a, a feeling of uh, uh, some fear because the world can be both wondrous and uh, fearful at the same time. This piece is, a, is in pastel, acrylic, and it's called Waiting. It was done um, in the early eight, uh, 1980s. And I also, as you can see, there's this big fi figure of a woman which informs this painting. This, this painting is done also in oil and egg tempera. And after I did it, I redid this painting because I love the quality of the oil and egg tempera in making it more three-dimensional. These paintings, which I call Uncommon World, and are also done in oil and egg tempera, which I did a whole series on. I must have done about 25, 30 of these, of these Uncommon World. Also in the, in the 1980s, I did a very large painting. And this was the original painting. And I took it out of storage a few years ago. And I sort of thought, this is really a pretty grim painting. So I decided to take it and start to rework it and see where my head was at now. And so I, I collaged and painted. And over a year, uh, created this painting, which talks about the world and how it's changing. The following photographs show 
how the original work titled Doorway evolved into the painting shown on the wall. In 1988, I created a rather moody painting titled Doorway. In 2011, I decided to see how life appeared to me now. I painted and collaged over the original acrylic, which was 56 by 72 inches. I left the original child and woman from doorway, and I started to imagine how the world has changed. I added babies tumbling into the world as well as ancient symbols. I made allusions to religion and war. The baby turned from, from black to gold and additional Egyptian guards were added. Finally, after a year, I have completed the painting, and now it's titled, Knitting Calms My Nerves. In this painting, which was also done in 1980s, it was originally this painting, and it was, this original painting was uh, done at a time where my children were having children, and my mother was dying. And this also, uh, when I took it out, I decided to see, well, what was happening now in my life? So I, I took the liberty of Xeroxing my grandchildren's drawings and putting them into uh, the painting. And I put Angry Birds and Tommy the Train, and I even put the drawings that I do of the Black Eagles jazz band while, while they're playing, and I put them in. Uh, here's the baby again. And a clown laughing at life. And I think it's a much happier painting now than it was then. The following photograph uh, show how the painting titled Circle evolved into the one hanging on the wall, now titled Recalculating. The techniques I used were uh, collage and paint. This is the original painting circle, and it was created in 1988. First, I added a young child along with my grandchildren's drawings onto the uh, canvas. Then I added some musicians and um, background figures. The child is now painted along with the sky, stars, and moons in the forefront. I eliminated the, the infants in the water and added uh, the Black Eagles jazz band. Angry Birds and background and the background are now ref more refined. 
After a year, the painting is starting to come together with changes to the band and changes to the sky. The original painting circle, which was a, a grim take on the world, has now completed its evolution and has been retitled Recalculation. A few years ago, I broke my shoulder and I found myself uh, in bed for a period of time and people sent me plans and I started to draw or interpret them um, in, a, in a book my daughter gave me. And this was one of the original drawings. When I got back to the studio, I Xeroxed these, these drawings and transferred them and made new pieces. So these are transferred. They have a very interesting texture. And then I decided to paint, to paint them and, and draw into them with pen and ink. So these are, are the results as well as the work over here. And this is a small sample of my work that I'm showing here in Groton. Oh, here's a class that's coming in now. This is my visual studies class. Hi. And they're all, you're all juniors, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Some and, uh They've, they've been working on mostly drawing so far, and we're just getting into color now. We're getting into color with oil pastels and then work into paint. So um, you can tell them You're going to you, have great fun. Yeah, you can tell them how you started out, and they'll probably have some questions about your work, which is very interesting. Well, when I, when I went to school in the long by and by, uh, I wasn't a very... Uh, good student. I didn't tend to pay terribly much attention, but I did love to draw. And I drew instead of doing other things. And kids used to say to me, oh, draw me a bri or draw me this. And it was my identification. And so I always drew and painted. And um, that's who I was. <laughs> You're more than welcome. <laughs> it's okay, a pleasure. I'll explain to you how to get there. I'm going to walk over with them and then just come on over. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.